metafields. And these thermogels are a rather new kind, recent kind of material that combine the properties of both ferrofluids and gels, meaning they are soft, elastic, and also magnetic. And what we do is we make a sphere out of them, a small ball, and put it into a magnetic field. This is a view of the sphere. Now the best to tell you about it would be to show you the experiment, but it's rather small, it's only one centimeter in diameter, so I want to make a small blow up for you. So imagine this is the Fabergel um, sphere. It's clearly elastic and it's also magnetic. So if this is a magnet, the sphere gets attracted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and finally it sticks to the magnet. <laughs> but this effect, uh, so-called Kelvin force, is based on the magnetic field gradient. It works only because there are inhomogeneous fields. And we wanted to know in <laughs> homogeneous magnetic fields. And as you sure remember from magnetostatics, inside the sphere, the field is homogeneous. So if, if these are the field lines, they are parallel, the field is homogeneous. And if we now switch on the magnetic field, the field gets elongated in the direction of the magnetic field. If we switch on suddenly, it doesn't only make like this, but it also vibrates and then gets longer again, which you can see on uh, that plot. Um, we compare the outcome of the experiment with several theories, as, you, as usual, and please come to my poster if you either are interested in getting back to the loop, <laughs> or if you are interested in some experimental details, how we compensate the gravity, not done 